Today uh, we had this celebration for El Dia de los Muertos. Um, as you can see, it turned out really beautiful. It was a team effort um, from the school, the students, the teachers, even parents that volunteered to help out, participate, and this is what it turned out to be. The thing that you see here, it was made by the students. Every single petal that you will find, every single flower, every single thing that you see was made by the students. It took a lot of effort, a lot of teamwork, a lot of union for us to get this completed and get it done. And I think it's very important for the community to know that the culture is, is there. It just needs to be exposed so they can see and not just have a misconception of what Dia de los Muertos is. A lot of people are thinking what is Halloween and Dia de los Muertos, something very similar, and there are two totally different things. And Dia de los Muertos is, uh, is a day that we celebrate where loved ones are no longer with us. And it's a day that we reunite spiritually and we bring back the things that they like. It's important because it's our culture, first of all, and it's our heritage. Uh, we don't, pe some people don't even know what their great grandparents were. And this is a way to keep like uh, everything alive, to know who our great grandparents were, who, to know who our grandparents were and to still feel like the love and how they would like nurture them, nurture, like take care of their like altar as we, they took care of us. I feel proud that we have such a wonderful culture and such a like wonderful background that our, like, our, our ancestors created this like holiday or event to celebrate our loved ones, our past, our past loved ones and it's just beautiful overall. I hope they walk away with them knowing that there's a culture behind us. There's something that we should honor um, every day of our lives. It could be any day. And yeah, so just keep honoring our culture, our background, our heritage.